Hello students how are you all i hope you are fit and fine at your home dear students we have been studying the first chapter of history and civics that is sources of history in the first chapter we have studied that what is history the sources of history now in this video we shall continue the first chapter and we will complete the remaining two sources that is written sources and oral sources as well as evaluation of the sources of history okay students so be connect with me so without further ado let's start with the chapter but before moving forward i would like to say thanks to my subscribers students parents and dear friends those who have shared it liked it commented below the video and subscribed my channel thank you students and parent be connect with me till the end of this video now let's begin students in the first part of this chapter we have studied the material sources in material sources we have studied memorials buildings cave sculptures inscriptions coins copper plates and forts okay so as well as we have studied the forts are very important as well as reliable source of history okay students but do you know chaityas viharas temples churches mosques agaris dargahs maqbaras gurudwaras monuments sculptures wells minarets village boundaries and gates weapons utensils ornaments clothes decorative articles toys implements musical instruments are all material sources of history okay students so all these are the material sources of history okay students it is very important to remember so mind it okay students so students is ghatak ke pehle video mein humne padha tha इतिहास के भौतिक स्रोत हमने पढ़े थे इतिहास के भौतिक स्रोत में हमने बहुत सारे अलग अलग स्रोत पढ़े थे उसमें थे मोन्यूमेंट्स यानी कि स्मारक इमारत गुफाएं शिलालेख सिक्के ताम्रपट और किले है ना स्टूडेंट लेकिन क्या आपको पता है चैत्य विहार मंदिर गिरजाघर मस्जिदें अग्ञारिज दरगाहें मकबरे गुरुद्वारा छतरी शिल्प विभिन्न कोनों वाले पक्के गहरे और बड़े कुएं मीनारे ग्राम सीमाएं शस्त्र बर्तन आभूषण वस्त्र हस्तकला की कलात्मक वस्तुएं खिलौने औजार वाद्य आदि भौतिक साधन है अब हम इसके साथ आगे बढ़ते हैं और अब हम पढ़ेंगे इतिहास के लिखित स्रोत ओके स्टूडेंट नाउ with this we will move forward and we shall study the written sources of history okay students are you ready so first of all i shall read it for you as i told you reading is very important if you want to understand so first read it loudly and then read it in mind okay students so let me read for you written sources we learn about significant historical events in the medieval period from sources like the writing styles of script like devanagari arabic persian modi etc as also from the varieties of different languages bhurjapatras religious manuscripts treatises addicts decrees biographies paintings etc we can gather information about the food items attire conventions and the rules of conduct of the people festivals and about people's life etc from these sources sources of this type are called written sources of history students we can understand we can learn the significant historical events from different types of sources for example writing styles of the script like devanagari we write marathi hindi sanskrit in devanagari script so we can understand what kind of script had used in the historical period with this devanagari arabic persian modi with this devanagari writing style we can understand the writing styles of arabic persian and modi language too okay student yes previously we have studied that the peshwas used arabic language on their coins 
ओके स्टूडेंट सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स ऑफ द पेशवाज ओके स्टूडेंट सो इन दिस वे वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द राइटिंग स्टाइल थ्रू द स्क्रिप्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स अगेन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड सिग्निफिकेंट हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स फ्रॉम द वराइटी ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस भूर्जपत्राज ये स्टूडेंट भूर्जपत्राज वर यूज टू राइट समथिंग रिलीजियस मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट ट्रिटीज एडिक्ट डिक्रीज बायोग्राफीज एंड पेंटिंग्स एक्सेट्रा ये स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स और द सिग्निफिकेंट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स थ्रू दीज सोर्सेस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ फूड आइटम्स वर यूज बाय द पीपल इन हिस्ट्री we can get information about the attire what do you mean by attire attire means clothing what kind of clothes were used by the people in the historical period conventions and rules of the conduct of the people the people's behavior the people's conduct we can understand through all these written sources as well as we can understand about the festivals and the lifestyle of the people in historical period okay students have understood very good and sources of this type are called written sources okay students have understood students us kal khand ki devnagari arbi farsi sarafa yani ke ghazita aadi lipiyon ki banavat tatha shaili vibhinn bhashaon ke roop bhojpatro pothiyo tantro grantho आदेश पत्रों चरित्रों चित्रों द्वारा हमें मध्ययुगीन इतिहास के घटनाओं के बारे में जानकारी प्राप्त होती है उसके साथ साथ व्यंजन यानी कि खाने के चीज़ें लोक जीवन वेशभूषा आचार विचार तीज त्यौहार इनके बारे में भी जानकारी हमें प्राप्त होती है जिस सामग्री द्वारा हमें ये जानकारी प्राप्त होती है उसे हम इतिहास के लिखित साधन कहते हैं इस पूरी सामग्री को इतिहास के लिखित साधन कहते हैं ओके स्टूडेंट्स हैव अंडरस्टूड वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शेल स्टडी विच सोर्सेस आर इंक्लूडेड इन रिटर्न सोर्सेस ऑफ हिस्ट्री ओके स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स अब हम पढ़ेंगे कि इतिहास साधनों में किन किन साधनों का समावेश होता है सो द फर्स्ट वन इज डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग्स इन द कोर्ट ऑफ किंग ओके स्टूडेंट्स यानी कि राज दरबार के कामकाज के संबंधित दस्तावेज द सेकंड वन इज जुडिशियल वर्डिक्स ऑर्डर्स यानी कि न्यायालय के निर्णय आदेश द थर्ड वन इज जीनियोलॉजीज इसका मतलब है शकावली वंशावली एंड नाउ फोर्थ वन इज ट्रिटीज यानी कि ग्रंथ चरित्र द फिफ्थ वन इज ट्रेवलॉग्स ऑफ फॉरेन ट्रेवलर्स यानी के विदेशी यात्रियों के यात्रा वर्णन द सिक्स वन इज करस्पॉन्डेंस और डिस्पैचेस यानी के पत्र व्यवहार खलिता नाउ द सेवंथ एंड द लास्ट वन इज क्रोनिकल्स तवारिख यानी के तिथि ग्रंथ अथवा बखर ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन रिटर्न सोर्सेस ये सभी साधनों का इतिहास के लिखित साधन में समाविष्ट होते हैं नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी शेल स्टडी अबाउट द रिटर्न सोर्सेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्रेवल लॉग बायोग्राफीज तवारी एंड बखर बट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन अ ग्राफिकल मैनर ओके स्टूडेंट सो लेट मी प्रेजेंट द ग्राफिक्स एंड एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू अबाउट travel log biographies tawarikh and bakhr so let's learn with the help of graphics yes students now we shall study about the travel logs of the travelers from other countries came to india they have written travel logs or accounts of their travels some of them are al biruni ibn batuta nikola manucci students these are some of the travelers that came to india and written travel logs students we shall have short information about these travelers first of all we will study about al biruni 
he was an Iranian scholar. He was regarded as founder of Indology. Students, what do you mean by Indology? Indology means Indian studies is the academic study of history and culture, languages and literature of India. He was father of modern geodesy. What is geodesy? Geodesy is the earth science of accurately measuring and understanding earth's geometric shape, orientation in space and gravitational field. He was the first anthropologist. Student anthropologist means a person who engaged in the practice of anthropology. Anthropology ka matlab hai manav vanshi shastra. Anthropology is study of aspects of human within past and present society. Students, in 1017, he traveled to the Indian subcontinent and authored a study of Indian culture. Tariq al Hind History of India. He was an impartial writer on customs and creeds of various nations and was given the little Al Ustad, the master, for his remarkable description of early 11th century of India. Students, now we shall study about Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta was a Muslim. Moroccan scholar, jurist and explorer who traveled extensively in Afro-Eurasia, largely in the lands of Dar al-Islam. Student, Dar al-Islam means the states that were under the rule of Islam. He traveled more than any other explorer in pre-modern history, totaling around 1,70,000 km. He travelled through Southern Asia, including Central Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, China, Iberian Peninsula. Ibn Battuta and his party reached the Indus River on 12 September 13. 33. Okay, students, have you understood? Very good. Now, student, we shall study the next traveler, that is Nicola Manucci. He was an Venetian writer, doctor, and traveler who wrote a first hand account of Mughal Empire. Students, after 1656, Manucci remained in India for the rest of his life and is one of the few first-hand European sources for Shah Jana, Aurangzeb, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Dara Shikho, Shah Alam, Raja Jai Singh and Kirat Singh. Manucci is famous for his work Storia the Mughal, an account of Mughal history and life. He was the first hand knowledge of the Mughal court. Okay, students have understood? So, it is about the travel logs of the travelers, those who were traveled to India. Now, we shall study some of the biographies. Okay, students? So, the first biography is Babur's biography. Babur Zahir Ud Din Muhammad was the founder of the Mughal Empire and first emperor of the Mughal dynasty in Indian subcontinent. He ruled during the period 1526 to 1530 in India. He was a descendant of Timur and Changej Khan. Now student, we shall study the second biography that is Sri Shiv Bharat. Students, it's written by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's court poet Kavindra Parmananda Govind Nevaskar of Polatpur, 
near Mahad in Sanskrit language by the order of Shivaji Maharaj. It tells us about the early life of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and information on all his historical events. It is a very authentic historical source. Okay, students have understood? Very good. Now, students, we will move forward with the new point that is Tawarik or Tarik. Student, it means the sequence of events. Okay, students, now we are going to study some of the Tawariks written by Albiruni, Jawaddin, Barani, Maulana Ahmad, Yaha bin Ahmad, Miza Haider, Bhimshen Saxena. Student, I haven't get more information about Maulana Ahmad, Miza Haider, Bhimshen Saxena. But we shall study about Al Biruni. Students, just now I have given information about Al Biruni. So we will study about the Tariq of Jawaddin Birani. Students, the period of Jawaddin Barani was 285 to 1358 CE. He was a Muslim political thinker of Delhi Sultanate, located in present-day North India during Muhammad bin Tughlaq and Firuz Shah's reign. He was best known for composing the Tariq E. Firuz Shahi, a work on medieval India. Okay, student. Now, next, Aya bin Ahmad. He was a 15th century Indian chronicler who wrote Tariq e Mubarak Shahi, a Persian language chronicle of the Delhi Sultanate, written during the reign of Mubarak Shah. His work is an important source of information for the Sayyid dynasty. Okay, students. So, students, it's all about Tawarik or Tariq. So, students, here we have studied about the travelogues written by the foreign travelers. As well as we have studied biographies and Tawariks. Okay, students, have you understood? Very good. Students, now we shall study about Bakhar. Bakhar is a type of chronicle that originated in Maharashtra. Chronicle means a factual written account of important or historical events in the order of their occurrence. Bakhar is a form of historical narrative written in Marathi prose. Bakhars are one of the earliest genres of medieval Marathi literature. More than 200 Bakhars were written in the 17th to 19th century. The most important of them chronicling the deeds of the Maratha rural Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The earliest dates associated with the Bakhar are 1448 or 1455 by different authors. These Bakhars help in understanding aspects like the contemporary political happenings, linguistic transactions, cultural life, and social conditions. The chronicles in Marathi were written many years after the events had occurred. As a result, they are seen to rely on hearsays. Mahikauti Chi Bakhar, Sabhasat Bakhar, Chitnisachi Bakhar, Bhau Saibachi Bakhar. The works of contemporary Western historians like Robert Arm, Yamsi Sprengel, and Grant Tuff are also important. Okay, students, so this is about Bakhar. Now we shall study further. Yes, students, have you understood about the travelogues, biographies, Tawarik, and Bakhars? Yes, very good. Now, student, we are going to study the next source of history that is oral. Yes, what do you mean by oral? Whatever is spoken is known as 
oral okay student so here we are going to study the oral sources of history first of all let me read it for you oral sources we understand various aspects of folk life through folk literature traditionally passed on from generation to generation some examples are ovis folk songs powadas folk tales legends and myths such type of sources are called oral sources of history history is written with the help of the three types of sources mentioned above even after it has been written down research on it goes on continuously new sources and information come to light through this research then history has to be rewritten accordingly we can see that our history books and those of our parents and grandparents differ to a certain extent students we can understand the aspects of folk life through the folk literature that is passed on traditionally from one generation to other generation yes student what do you mean by folk life here it is folk life means the life of people it is related or belonged to people okay students use hum lok parampara kahenge jo lok parampara ek peedi se dusri peedi tak passed down hoti hai sankramit hoti hai lok parampara mein peedi dar peedi sankramit hoti rahi oviya oviya yani ke चक्की के गीत जब महिलाएं चक्की के ऊपर आटा पीसती थी उस वक्त वो ओविया गाती थी उसे हम ओविया कहेंगे लोकगीत पोवाड़े कहानियां दंत कहानियां जैसे कि पंचतंत्र की कहानियां हैं उसे हम दंत कहानियां कहेंगे और मीत स्टोरीज कहेंगे अथवा मिथकीय गाथाएं कह सकते हैं इन सभी के द्वारा हम लोगों के विविध पहलू के बारे में समझ सकते हैं इन साधनों को इतिहास में मौखिक साधन कहते हैं ठीक है स्टूडेंट इसे मौखिक क्यों कहा गया है क्योंकि पीढ़ी से पीढ़ी तक वो मौखिक रूप से संक्रमित हुई है ये सुनी सुनाई होती है जो एक पीढ़ी से दूसरे पीढ़ी तक संक्रमित होती है ट्रांसफर होती है सो विच सोर्सेस आर इंक्लूडेड इन ओरल सोर्सेस ऑफ हिस्ट्री लेट मी टेल यू फोक सॉन्ग्स यानी कि लोकगीत गाथा श्लोकाज अभंगाज पोवाडाज पोवाडाज आर संग इन द प्रेज ऑफ समबडी प्रोवर्ब्स जैसे कि हमने पहले प्रोवर्ब देखे थे दो मराठी के प्रोवर्ब्स देखे थे सोला आना सच यानी कि 100% परसेंट ट्रू इस तरीके के प्रोवर्ब्स लीजेंड्स एंड मिथ्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई लीजेंड स्टूडेंट्स कहानियां और मिथकीय गाथाएं ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑल दीज सोर्सेस आर इंक्लूडेड इन द ओरल सोर्सेस ऑफ हिस्ट्री and such kind of sources are called as oral sources of history okay students have understood very good so students here we have studied the three types of sources of history that are material sources written sources and oral sources okay students and here history is written with the help of all these three sources even after it has been written down continuously research is going on it and if some new evidence is found then again history has to be rewritten and because of that we can see that our textbooks and the books of our parents or grandparents are differ from our books okay students that is the reason have you understood students very good students do you know the powada of tanaji so here an extract is given from a powada composed by tulsidas shahir he portrays the kondana campaign in it the powada contains the beautiful sketches of tanaji shelara mama shivaji maharaj veer mata jijabai etc so let's have a look on it students so students just now we have studied that with the help of three sources of history we can write history but these sources should be critically analyzed okay so let's learn about the evaluation of sources of history first of all i will read it for you evaluating the sources of history it is necessary to take certain precautions before using these sources of history we have to examine their authenticity and see which are genuine and which are fake 
Their quality can be determined with the help of internal standards. We also have to study the integrity of the writers, their personal interests, the period in which they live and the political pressures on them. It is also important to see whether they rely on hearsay or give an eyewitness account. We need to consider the exaggeration, metaphors and other literary devices they use. Their information has to be verified with the help of other contemporary sources. The information may be one-sided, contradictory or exaggerated. It has to be seen in a proper perspective. The sources have to be subjected to a critical analysis. The author's impartiality and neutrality are very important in writing history. Okay, student. It is explained that how it is very important to evaluate the sources of history to check their reliability, to check their authenticity and how we can check it. The process of the checking authenticity also given. Okay, student. It is explained here what kind of precautions we need to take before using the historical resources to write history. Okay, student. In sabhi sadhano ka istamal karne ke pahele, unki jaj pardal karna bohot hi matwa purna hai. Aur hume kuch saudhani baratni chahiye, uske baare mein bhi yaha pe bataya gaya hai. In sadhano ki vishwasniyata yamam pramanikta ki pardal karni zaruri hai. Unme maulik sadhan koon se hai? Maulik sadhan yane ke sachche sadhan koon se hai? Aur chali koon se hai? उसकी खोज हमें करनी पड़ती है अंतर्गत प्रमाणों द्वारा उन साधनों की श्रेणी निश्चित करना जरूरी होता है लेखकों का सच झूठ उनके व्यक्तिगत स्वार्थपूर्ण संबंध कालखंड राजकीय दबाव आदि का भी अध्ययन करना जरूरी होता है दी गई जानकारी सुनी सुनाई है अथवा उन्होंने स्वयं देखी है उसका भी महत्व होता है लेखन में प्रयुक्त अतिशोक्तियां प्रतिमाएं प्रतीक अलंकार आदि का भी विचार करना पड़ता है अन्य समकालीन साधनों के साथ उनकी पड़ताल करनी पड़ती है प्राप्त जानकारी एकांगी विसंगतिपूर्ण और अतिशोक्तिपूर्ण होने की संभावना को नकारा नहीं जा सकता अतः उनका उपयोग सूझबूझ के साथ करना चाहिए इन साधनों का उपयोग सदैव ही विश्लेषण करने के बाद ही करना चाहिए इतिहास लेखन करते समय लेखक की निपक्षता और तटस्थता को असाधारण महत्व है ठीक है स्टूडेंट समझ में आया आपको वेरी गुड तो इस तरीके से हमें उसका क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस करना जरूरी होता है वी नीड टू क्रिटिसाइज इट we need to analyze it in a critical way in a proper way then only we can use such kind of sources of history to write authentic history okay students have you understood very good so in this video we have studied the sources of written history of oral history with it we have studied evaluating the sources of history okay students have you understood very good students if you have liked it and found it useful to you then like it share it to your friends do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get current notification of new videos. Thank you. Be connected.